Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making little Santa Claus. His head, arms, body, and legs are no sew and then we'll have a bit of sewing to do when we get to the beard and the mustache and the nose and the ears. I will be using a number four medium weight yarn, a 4.25 millimeter hook, and 12 millimeter safety eyes, but I would recommend using 14 millimeters. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you, as well as sewing all the parts on in real time. And I will also be providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this or any one of my other videos, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's everything. So. Grab your yarn and let's get started. We're going to start with the arms and you can begin any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. And what I like to do is make a knot with a loop on the end like you're going to make a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, pull through and chain one. And remember, that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. One. Two. Three. Four. five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, and our last increase, eleven and twelve. Rows three and four is just going to be 12 single crochets all the way around, and I'll do those consecutively. Two rows of 12 is 24, and I'll flip my marker when I hit my first set of 12. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row five, you're going to do what I call a double crochet cluster of four. So you're going to yarn over, go in your next stitch, grab your yarn and pull up, grab your yarn again and pull through the first two loops. Then you're going to do that three more times. Yarn over, go through that same stitch, grab your yarn and pull up, grab your yarn again, go through the first two loops. That's twice. Yarn over in that same stitch, grab your yarn and pull up, grab your yarn again, and go through the first two loops. That's three times. We got one more. Yarn over in that same stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn again, go through the first two loops. And now we should have one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. And we're going to grab our yarn and go through all five of those loops. And give it a tug if you need to. And now we have 11 single crochets to go around. And I'm going to count our cluster as one and our first single crochet as two. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Row six, we are just going to do twelve single crochets all the way around. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Row seven, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of eight. So one single crochet and then a decrease for two. And repeat that around three and a decrease for four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Now, because um, we're doing our color change next, and I don't want to have it right here at the um, front where the thumb's going to be showing. I want my color change at the back. We're going to do five single crochets to get us to the other side. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're not going to finish that stitch because we're going to change now to our white. So grab your white. I'm just going to cut this off now. And we're going to tie our next color on and you're just going to tie the old and the new colors nice and tight close to the hook a couple of times. And then you're going to take that new color and pull it through that fifth 
single crochet you made and then we'll start on the next row. Row eight, we are going to do eight double crochet clusters of three. So just like the thumb, only we're going to do it three times instead of four. And I'm only going to count the clusters. So remember, you're going to do it three times in the same stitch. One, it's twice, three times, and then you're going to pull through. So that's one, and now I'm just going to be counting the clusters. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven, and now on that next one we're going to change color, so we're going to do our three little cluster stitches. And then when we, um, instead of grabbing our yarn to pull through all those, we're going to change our color right now. So I'm going to be grabbing the red, I'm going to cut off my white, and just like before, we're going to tie that nice and tight, close to the hook. couple of times. And then grab that new color and pull it through the loops to finish off that last cluster and give it a nice little tug. Now for rows 9 to 17, we are going to be doing eight single crochets all the way around, and I'm going to do those consecutively. That's nine rows. Um, so nine times eight is 72. And I'm just going to flip my marker every time I hit a um, set of eight. So we're starting down in here, right in there. And make sure you get in all your stitches on this round. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to flip my marker and keep on counting. Let me take this out. Nine, whoops, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Flipping my marker, keep on counting. 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, so there's our nine rows of eight single crochets. Because I added stitches to get our color change in the back, now I gotta add stitches so we end on the back as well and our thumb is facing forward. So we're gonna do three more single crochets. One, two, three. And that should take us when we fold it so it's folded like this. All right, let's remove our hook now and let's put some stuffing in. And what I like to do is take about how much I think is gonna do both arms, split it in half, put one to the side so we have about the same amount of stuffing in both arms. And we're gonna take most of it for the hand and a little bit to put up in the arm. We may have to do this in a few little sections because the arms are fairly narrow. And it does really help if you use a nice pair of scissors to get it down in there. So I have that kind of on the firm side. And then I just want this little tiny bit. I'm not even only half of that. That little tiny bit down into the arm. Because you don't want them to stick straight out. 
So this part's really firm, and then this part almost feels like there's none in there. Just enough to give it a bit of shape. And now we're going to close it up, so let's put our hook back in. And we're going to do three single crochets across in both sides. So into the front in the next stitch, and into the back on the last stitch, and then a single crochet. And we're going to do that three times. So one, two, and three. And then you can tie that off, leaving yourself a little bit of a tail. Now, if you've just finished your first arm, I will put a screenshot in the next frame with a timestamp and you can go back and do your second arm. And if you are finished your second arm, just keep on watching and we'll do the next part. We're gonna do the leg next. So grab your boot color and you're gonna make a knot with a loop on the end because we are gonna be starting with a chain. So insert your hook and we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And for our first row, we're gonna start in the second chain from the hook. So not this one on the hook, not this first one, but we're gonna be starting in the second one right here. And this is what we're gonna call the end as we're going around and we're gonna do one single crochet. And then we're going to do three single crochets across the straight part. One, two, three. Now we're on the other end. We're going to do three single crochets into this last stitch, turning as we go. So we end up on the other side of our chain. So one, in that end stitch, turn a little bit, two in the end stitch, turn a little bit, and three, all in that same end stitch. Now we're going to do our three across, one, two, three. Now we're back at our other end and we're going to do two single crochets in that end stitch. One and two. So our next stitch of the next round is going to be over here on this side right here. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And this is going to still be the end. We're going to do one increase on the end. So one and two in the same stitch. Then we're going to do three across. One, two, three. Now we're going to do three increases around this end. So that'll be two single crochets over these three stitches. So increase, one and two in the same stitch. Another increase, two, one and two in the same stitch. And our third increase, one and two in the same stitch. Now we're gonna do our three across one, two, three. That brings us back to the other side of our end and we're gonna do an increase in both of these stitches. So we'll increase one and two in the same stitch and another increase, one and two 
in that same stitch. And it should look like this now. And then we're going to start row three and we're going to do one single crochet, one increase as end stitches on this side, one single crochet, one increase, so that's one and two in the same stitch. Now we're going to do three across, one, two, three, and we're back to this end and we're going to do one single crochet, one increase three times around this end. So one single crochet, one increase. That's once. Do that again. One single crochet, one increase. That's twice. And one more time. One single crochet, one increase, and that's three times. Now we'll do our three across. One, two, three. Now we're back to our other end. We're going to do one single crochet, one increase, two times. One single crochet, one increase. That's once. And one single crochet, one increase, and that's twice. Now we're going to be going in the front loops. When you go in the front loops, instead of going down under both sides of the V here, you're going to go under the one loop and up through the center of the V. And that way you'll have stitches on this side and then we're going to put stitches on the back side in the next row. So row four, 24 single crochets in the front loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, make sure you're staying in the front loops only, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24. Now we are going to join to that next stitch of the row and do a slip stitch. We're going to chain one. And now we're going to flip it so that we can see the back loops and that's where we're going to be putting our next row and all those back loops we just created by doing front loop only on the other side of the row. So for row five, we're gonna go in the back loops, 24 single crochets. One, two, three, four, Five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, now we'll be going back in the same way we used to. And don't forget, when you start this row, you have that one chain one there. So you don't want to be going in that stitch. You want to be going in the next stitch behind your first single crochet of the previous row. So for rows 6 and 7, we're going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. That's two rows of 24, which is 48. And I'm going to count to 48. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, but keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Row 8, we're going to do 6 single crochets, 6 de decreases, and then 6 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, and now we're going to do six decreases, and I'm going to do invisible ones. So we're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch, front loop of the next stitch, grab our yarn and pull through, grab our yarn again and pull through. And we're going to do that six times. So that was one. Two, three, four, five, and six. 
And now we're going to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. In row nine, we're going to do three single crochets, three decreases, and three single crochets. So one, two, three. Now we're going to do six decreases, and again, I'm doing invisible. So in those front loops, one. Two, three, four, five, six decreases. Now we're going to do three single crochets to finish off that row. One, two, three. And row 10, we're just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around for a total of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and on our twelfth one we're just going to start bring our hook up so we have our two loops and we're going to change our color to white again. I'm going to cut that off and grab the white. We're just going to tie that on like before, nice and close to the hook a couple of times. Grab our new color and finish off that last single crochet. Row 11, we're going to be doing 12 double crochet clusters of three all the way around. So if you remember that yarn over in the next stitch, you grab your yarn, pull up, and go through the first two loops, and you'll do that three times. So that's twice, three times, and then pull through all those loops. And I'm just going to count my clusters now. So that was one, two, Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Nine, 
Oops. 10. Oopsie, 11. And remember on our 12th one, we're going to be changing colors. So we're going to do our three. One, two, three. And then leave those last four loops on the hook because we're going to change color. So I'm cutting my white and switching to red. And again, just tie our old color and our new color nice and tight, close to the hook as you can, a couple of times. And then pull that new color through all four loops to finish off that cluster stitch. And give it a tug if you need to. Rows 12 to 20 are just going to be 12 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. That's 9 rows. 9 times 12 is 108. And I'm just going to flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. So make sure you're going in that first next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, and flip your marker, keep on going, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping the marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping the marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting. 40, whoops, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 
63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 85, 86, 87, whoops, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 97, 98, 99, 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we're going to add our stuffing. I'm going to take that out. And again, I'm going to do the foot first because it actually takes a lot more stuffing than you think. So I'm dividing my foot first. And then you want to get that down in the toe. I found that I did the toe nice and firm. And then I did the heel. And you want to try and make sure that this stays on the flatter side. And then once you kind of have the shape you want, then you're just going to add little bits more. And to me, this seemed like it took a lot more stuffing than necessary, but just make sure when you're doing it, you're not splitting open these front stitches. And then just get a little bit up in the leg once you're happy with the foot. So I'm kind of just stuffing it to about here lightly. So firm, lightly in here. And then when we get to this part, we don't want to put a lot of stuffing in because we want our leg to kind of go like this. So we want more in the bottom than on the top. So that seems about right to me. Once you're happy with how much stuffing you have, insert your hook back in. And we're going to do six single crochets across, just like we did the arm. But we're going to be doing two single crochets, then an increase, and two single crochets. So starting in that next stitch on the one side, last stitch on the other side. One single crochet. two single crochets, then an increase for three and four, and then two more single crochets, five and six. Then we're going to tie that off and leave a small little tail just to tuck in on the inside when we go around it later. So 
again, if you've just finished your first leg, I am going to leave a screenshot in the next frame with a timestamp so you can go back and do your second leg. And if you're done your second leg, just keep on watching and we'll continue on to the next part. All right, now we're going to be starting at the top of the head and I'm going to be using white and then switching to the face color later on as we get further down. And you again can begin any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'm going to be doing my knot with the loop on the end. Insert my hook. Chain one. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch. I'm just attaching my yarn to my loop. And for row one, we're going to do six single crochets into the loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we're going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase. One and two. Increase three and four, increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten. Increase 11 and 12. Row three, we're going to do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three, four, Increase five and six, seven, increase eight and nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase. 14 and 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we're going to be doing two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, Increase three and four, five, six, increase seven and eight, nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve, thirteen. 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24. Row five, you're going to do three.
three single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and an increase, nineteen and twenty, 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row six, you're gonna do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and an increase, seventeen and eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row seven, we're gonna do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42, and then we'll switch colors on our last stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, 13 and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and an increase, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and an increase, 34 and 35, 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and our increase, 41. And then on our 42nd stitch, just bring that up and don't finish it off so we can change to our face color. So we'll cut the white. Whoop. And then we're gonna add our face color. Tie that nice and tight down close to the hook. A couple of times. And then bring that new color through to finish off that last stitch of the row. Rows 8 to 14 are just going to be 42 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to use my row counter to keep track of that. So 42 single crochet. 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row eight. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 
38, 39, 40, 41, 42. That was row 9. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 10. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 11. Another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. That was row 12. Another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. That was row 13. One more row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. And that was row 14. 
row 15 we're going to do five single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. one two three four five and a decrease for six seven eight nine ten eleven and a decrease for twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and a decrease for 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and a decrease for 30 31 32 33 34 35 and a decrease for 36 row 16 we're going to do four single crochets a one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. one two three four and a decrease for five six seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 17 is going to be three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three and a decrease for four five six seven decrease for eight nine ten eleven and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, decrease for 20, 
21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Row 18, we're going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. And on the last stitch, we'll be changing color. So one, two, decrease for three, four, five, Decrease for six, seven, eight, decrease for nine, ten, eleven, decrease for twelve. 13, 14, decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Whoops, sorry, we're changing color. Don't finish off that stitch. So you wanna leave your three loops on the hook and then grab your red and we'll cut off this face color and tie that on nice and close to the hook a couple of times and then pull that through to finish off that last stitch. Row 19, we're gonna be adding the arms and we're gonna be doing three single crochets, three single crochets through the arm and the head, six single crochets across the front, three through the arm and the head, and then I believe three at the end. So we're gonna start with three single crochets, one, two, three. Grab your arm and make sure this is the back and that your thumb and your string is facing the front. And we're going to do three single crochets through the arm and through the next stitch of the head. So that's one, through the arm, through the head, that's two, and through the arm, and through the head, that's three. Now we're going to do three single crochet, or six single crochets across the front. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Now grab your other arm and again make sure that your string and your thumb are facing the front. And you're going to do three single crochets through the arm and the head. So that's one, through the arm, through the head, that's two, and again through the arm, through the head, that's three, and we should have three single crochets left. One, two, three. Row 20. We're going to do two single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, 
and an increase, three and four. Five, six, and an increase, seven and eight. And make sure these tails of your arms stay on the outside because that's where we want them for later. Nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12. Thirteen, fourteen, increase, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, increase, nineteen and twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Increase, 23 and 24. Row 21 is just gonna be 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row 22 is going to be three single crochets, one increase. Repeat that around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10, 11, 12, whoops, 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and an increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 23 is going to be four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and an increase, 
17 and 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row 24 to 26 is just going to be 36 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's three rows. Three times 36 is 108. And I'm just going to flip my marker every time I hit a set of 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 
And our last stitch, we're just going to go in, grab our yarn, and leave those two loops on the hook so we can attach our belt color. And we're not going to cut this because we're only going to do two rows and then switch back to the red. All right, so grab your new color, tie that on nice and close to the hook a couple of times. Then you're going to grab that new color and bring it through to finish off your last stitch. Rows 27 and 28 are just going to be 36 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. 36 times 2 is 72. And I'll just flip my marker when I hit my first set of 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36. Flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 
53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. We're just going to go in and pull up because now we're going to change back to our red. So we're going to cut our belt color and then tie our red on. And I'm making sure I'm using the color I just cut and not accidentally grabbing the other brown piece there. And then grab that new color and pull it through. Row 29, we are just going to do 36 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Now we're going to go in the front loops on the next row. And we're going to call this row 29A. So we're going to do two rows. Um, coming out and then we're going to come back and use those back loops to start um, the bottom of his pants. So row 29A in the front loops, we are going to do 36 single crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. We're going to be changing to white to do our little bumpy stitches around the edge. So um, grab your white and leave this red again as we'll use that when we start going back on the inside in the back loops. So tie that on nice and tight, close to your hook like always. Drop that red. Now we're going to do something a little bit different than we did on the arms. So let's finish off that stitch. And because I wanted them to kind of puff out, we're going to start with a single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do our double crochet cluster of four. So yarn over in that next stitch. Grab your yarn, grab your yarn again, and pull through the first two loops. And we do that four times. So that's one, two, three, four. Then we grab our yarn and we pull through those five loops left on the hook. Give it a little bit of a tug so that's nice and tight right there. And then you're going to do a single crochet again. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do a double crochet cluster of four again. Tighten that up. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around. One single crochet, one cluster, one single crochet, one cluster. Keep going all the way around. I'm going to fast forward and I'll join you back on the last couple stitches here. Okay, I'm down to my last two stitches. I have a single crochet and a cluster left. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet I made. And we can tie that off. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail so I can just kind of bring that to the inside. Just 
So all I'm going to do is thread my darning needle and then I'm going to weave it down the inside of one of my cluster stitches just so you can't see it in the back. And I'm going to go under one of these back loops that we made so that when we go around it's going to be on the inside. I'm not even going to tie it. I'm just going to leave it just like that. Maybe cut it a little shorter so it's not in my way in the future. And I just I forgot to mention if your puffs don't seem right just make sure you're pushing them out with your fingers. If they're in like this and you're wondering what's going on, it's just that they need to be pushed out the right way. So while we're here, I might as well put a few things on here. So let's flatten our guy out and we'll put the eyes on. So you want to make sure he's nice and straight. First of all, we got to get in the right row and we want to be in between rows 11 and 12. So you're going to start at your first loop. Count that as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you want to go just in between 11 and 12. And I'm going into a stitch. If you're in the center, I think I'm already pretty centered, actually. Let me just check that. Right about there. Looks good to me. And I have, I'm in a stitch, I have a hole on each side, and I'm going to use those holes to count over with my eyes. So I'm using 12 millimeter eyes, but if I had 14s, I'd be using 14s. I'm going to count over four holes. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go on the other side of that pin. I'm counting right beside that pin as a hole. One, two, three, four. Just give it a double check if you need to. And I think I'm okay with that. Looks good to me. So I am going to put my backs on. Doing this backwards for some reason. There we go. Get them on nice and tight. Make sure you're not going over any strings, or if you've stuffed yours at any point, make sure there's no stuffing in between. You might as well put the buckle on right now too. So I'm just grabbing a little scrap piece of yellow. And you're going to come from the inside and we're going to be going around three stitches wide. So I'm going to come in this one, leave a bit of a tail for tying. And then I'm going to go one, two into that next stitch. And I'm just going where the points of those V's are. Oh, I think I got to do one more. So I'm skipping two holes and then going in the third then. One, two, and into the third. You can do yours however you want, but that just makes mine look a little more centered, I think. Then you're going to go on the bottom and try and keep those even with your top. And I'm going to go one less. It's going to be a bit of a funny buckle, but... Okay. 
And I'm just going up and down on the sides. The trick is to make sure you're not going in the stitch, you just came out. And then other than that, it doesn't really matter how you go around. And then we'll just tie that on the back. Not too tight because you don't want to pull your stitches on the other side. You can slowly tighten as you make more knots. And then give that a little trim. Okay, now we got to get our red back out. And now we're going to go in these back loops that we made. And we made this little part here. So if you fold that down, it'll make them a lot easier to see. All right, so now we are going to be doing row 30. First, we're going to go in that first back loop, grab our yarn, and we're going to chain one. And that doesn't count as a stitch. We're just attaching our yarn again to these loops. And for row 30, we're going to do four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. So in that same stitch, we'll do our first single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, and a decrease for five, six, seven, eight. Nine and a decrease. Oops, for ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. I don't know why, but my yarn just got super thick here. 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 20, nope. 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Now we want to try and pull all that stuff on the inside. And actually I am going to tie those now. I think the two white pieces are getting tied. Just so they kind of tuck in a little nicer. Row 31, you're going to do three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. And make sure you're going in that behind that first single crochet where you attached your yarn there. One, two, three, and a decrease. 
for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20. 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. All right, now we're going to do the leg row. And just in case you're not where I am, fold your little guy flat so he's nice and centered. And you just want to double check that you're going to have 12 stitches across the front. So when he's folded like this, start at one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that looks like it's going to be right. So I'm going to stick my pin in. And I'm just going to mark that so you're able to see it. All right, so let's put our hook back in. And we should have eight single crochets to start row 32. But just in case ours are a little different, we have our little marker where our first leg is going to start. So eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So mine's where I want it. If you have an extra one or two, that's okay. That just means your stitches are a tad different than mine. Grab your first leg and you want to have his foot, his toe facing his face because he's upside down. So when he's the right side up, his leg is going to fold like that. And now we're going to do six single crochets through the foot and the body. So one, just like we did the arms. Two single through crochets through the foot and the body. Three single crochets through the foot and the body. Four single crochets through the foot and the body. Five single cr crochets through the foot and the body. And our sixth single crochet through the foot and the body. And I'm just going to pull that string on the inside for later. Now we're going to grab our second leg and again, make sure the foot is facing the face. And same thing, six single crochets through the foot and through the body. And make sure you're getting in the next stitch and not the same one or skipping a stitch. One single crochet through the foot and the body two single crochets, whoops, I guess that's the leg and the body, 
three single crochets do the leg and the body four single crochets do the leg and the body five single crochets do the leg and the body and six single crochets to the leg and the body and then flip that string on the inside if you got a long one like mine you can give it a little cut and then we should have four single crochets left if you have the same amount as me one two three four we've got three rows left so i think let's put some stuffing in there now and you want to have quite a bit of stuffing in the head you want that to be nice and firm and round Just make sure you're not stretching any of your stitches, where, especially where you decrease down by the neck. We're getting close here, so make sure as you're doing that, you're kind of shaping the face. I kind of like to go out to the sides a bit. I'll take my two fingers and just kind of squish it over. And then when I put my next batch in, it goes in in the center. I think that whole thing's going in there. Okay, that should be good. Just double check your head shape. And then we'll put a little bit up in his body. So it starts to fill, but we can also still work around our stitches here. So we don't need that too firm. I'm going to do a tiny bit more. There we go. That should be good for now. Remember, you do want this to stay kind of on the flat side. All right. Our next row. Row 33. We're going to do two single crochets, one decrease, Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. And if you want, you can do your invisible decreases here. I'm going to stick with the regular. So that's one, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for a six. Seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
and a decrease for 18. Row 34 is going to be one single crochet, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, decrease for two, three, decrease for four, five, decrease for six, seven, decrease for eight, nine, decrease for 10, Eleven and a decrease for twelve. Now we only have one row left, so if you need to put stuffing in now, do that. Um, let's see, I might actually. Yeah, I better put a little bit in too. I like to make sure some goes kind of right in the back of the bum just in case he's a little front heavy then you have that little bit of extra there to keep him from topping over so I think I'm going to leave it there should be lots and for row six I'll be doing six decreases. If you're doing the invisible one, you might not be doing any, or you might just be doing a couple. One. I'm getting a lot of stuffing in here. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. And whatever number you ended off with when you're done, you're just going to slip stitch in the next stitch and then tie that off, leaving a little bit of a tail to close the space in the bottom. Right now we're going to close him up. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. I don't know what happened there. Let's see if I can pull it out. Yep. So we're going to thread our darning needle. And we're just going to weave in and out of those last six stitches. And I like to do just the top stitch. And then when you get all the way around, you're just going to pull that closed. I'm going to tie a little knot somewhere close to where you just were. And then just tuck that down inside. 
and out the back somewhere. Give it a cut. And we might as well do these arm strings while we have them here. So, grab one of your strings, get it on your needle, and you're just going to stick it down right in where this last stitch was. So right down in there, right where the neck and the head cut colors kind of meet. You're going to put it out the back center again where the neck and the head colors meet. You're going to do that with the other one. So right in that last stitch. And then out the back, the same place you brought the other one out. Now you're going to tie them one time. Don't let them cross. I wrap mine around the neck. And then when you get him flipped over, you just give them a pull. And you're going to bring those arms in. The knots will go in. They'll be a little sturdier. And when you're happy with where they fall, you're going to just tie that a couple of times to secure it. Remembering they will probably relax a little bit over time. Then again, you'll thread that on and you'll put the ends out the back. Oop. So I'm just going in where I tied them and then out somewhere else. Now, I got a little tip um, a couple of days ago. Sometimes I don't have any with me right now, but it's hard to grab onto your needle when you're pulling, especially if you have a metal one. And I got a really good tip about having like a little piece of rubber or rubber glove or something. I really want to try that, but I never grab anything to bring up here. I can see that being a good idea because I have had to grab a pair of pliers before to get my needle out all the way. Okay, let's make the ears now and you can start any way you like. Um, as long as you can leave a tail doing that because we're going to need a little bit of a tail for tying it on. So I'm making my knot with the loop. Grab my yarn, chain one, and then we're just going to do six single crochets into this loop and I'm not going to go over my tail. Just let it hang down there. One. Two. Three. Four five, six, and then tie off again, leaving a bit of a tail for tying it on. Oops. Let's, let's make our second one. So again, leave a tail. Start however you plan on starting. So if you're doing it my way, insert your hook, grab your yarn, chain one. Remember that doesn't count as a stitch. And we'll do our six single crochets and don't go over your tail. One, two, three, four, Five, six, 
and tie that off again, leaving a little tail. Now let's attach those. And I want to grab the piece that I just tied off for the top of the ear. Grab your little man. And right from the eye, you're going to count back six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to go in that sixth hole and go backwards out the fifth hole. And you should be right around where the arms are. So pull that through. And you're just going to grab a little piece of that first stitch right where the ear ends or starts. And you're going to go down one row. So I'm around this stitch, so I'm going to go around here. Nope. So I'm one stitch down, going around, and then I'm going to come in the center of the ear. Make sure you're pulling it tight so you don't see those stitches. And then you're going to go one more row down around that stitch. And then grab the bottom of the ear. Make sure as you're doing that you're going straight down so your ear's not twisted. And then you're just going to tie those strings in the back. And then I'm going to thread them in and come out the back of the head here. So go in somewhere nice and close to the ear and come out fairly even in the back of the head. And out. And then we'll do that on the other side. So this time you want to grab the opposite end so you have the same side as the ear facing you. So on this one, the V's are kind of towards me. So we want to make sure the V's are towards me on this side when it goes on and not facing this way. Oh, and that ends a little shorter, but it'll still work. And then again, you're going to find your first hole on this side of the eye. And you're going to count back six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go in that hole and go backwards out. Whoops, can't do it with my left hand through the front. So you're in the sixth and the fifth hole. And then you're just going to grab the front of that ear. Like I should be doing this upside down. Get it however you're comfortable. And then you're going to go in the next row down around the next stitch. Through the center of the ear. And then you're going to go down one more row around the stitch. And then through the bottom piece of the ear. And then just like on the other side, you're going to tie those two ends.
thread them on your needle. Come down nice and close to the ear somewhere and then out that same spot where you brought your other threads out. Now, if you want, you can do the same thing you did with the arms and bring these guys in and tie them. But I'm going to leave mine nice and big and round. And I'm just tying mine and then putting them out the back of the head somewhere. short so I'm gonna to have to thread that I'm gonna thread that one by itself so if you ever do do that you can always get your needle in like this and then you just got to thread that in nice and close by the head and then you can get it where you want it. And then give them a trim. You guys going to really start looking cute here now. We're going to start the hat now, and again, you can start any way you want, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'm going to be doing the knot with the loop on the end. I'm going to grab my yarn, pull through, chain one, remember that doesn't count as a stitch. And we're going to do six single crochets into the loop. And I'll be going over my tail. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And rows two and three are going to be six single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do them together. So two rows of six is 12. And I'll just flip my marker when I hit my first row of six. So one, make sure you stretch all the way over. Two. three, four, oops, five, six, flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 
12. It'll start getting it easier after this row here. Row four, we're gonna do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase, one and two. Increase, three and four. Increase, five and six. Increase, seven and eight. Increase, nine and 10. Increase, 11 and 12. Rows five and six are gonna be 12 single crochets all the way around. So that's two rows of 12. So we're gonna to count to 24. And I'll just flip my marker when I hit my first set of 12. One. Oops. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Flip my marker, keep on counting. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Hi guys, sorry I gotta pop in right here. I'm in the middle of editing and I just realized when I wrote the hat part out I totally forgot how to count and I missed seven. So the pattern is gonna jump from row five to six and then the next row is gonna say eight. So instead of redoing the whole hat or re-editing my mistakes for the next 17 or so rows. I'm gonna consider this row seven and wish you guys all a very Merry Christmas and all the best to you and your families in the new year. Thanks for watching, mistakes and all. And now let's get back to our little Santa. Row eight, we're gonna do one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three, four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18. Rows nine and 10 is gonna be 18 single crochets all the way around, and I'll be doing them consecutively. 18 times two is 36, and I'll flip my marker when I hit my first set of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Row 11, we're going to do two single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. 9, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, whoops, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase, 23, and 24. Rows 12 and 13 are going to be 24 single crochets all the way around. And that's two rows of 24, which is 48. And then I'll just flip my marker when I hit my first set of 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Flipping my marker, keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Row 14 is going to be three single crochets, a one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, 
two, three, increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, increase, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, increase, 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29, and 30. Rows 15 and 16 are going to be 30 single crochets all the way around. So that's two rows of 30, which is going to be 60 stitches. And I'm just going to flip my marker every time or when I hit my first set of 30. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Row 17, we're going to do four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and an increase, seventeen and eighteen, nineteen, 
20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23, and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Rows 18 and 19 are going to be 36 single crochets all the way around. And I'll be doing them consecutively. So two rows of 36 is 72. And then I'll flip my marker when I hit my first set of 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, whoopsie, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. We're getting close to the end. Four more rows and then the edge. So for row 20, we're going to do five single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase. Six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, increase, 
13 and 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, increase, 20 and 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, increase, 27 and 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, increase, 34 and 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, increase, 41 and 42. Row 21, we are going to do 42 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Row 22, we are going to do six single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 48. One, two, three, four, five, six, increase. 7 and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, Increase, 31 and 32, 33, 34, 35, whoops, 35, 36, 37, 
38, increase, 39 and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, increase, 47 and 48. And row 23 is going to be 48 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Oh, sorry. Don't finish off that last stitch because we're going to change to our white color to do our cluster stitches around the brim. Okay, so I'm going to tie this on. The old color and the new color nice and tight to the hook a couple of times. And on the first one of these, I cut my yarn and totally forgot I could use it to sew um, the hat down. So this time I'm going to leave my yarn, but I am going to cut it a couple of... Um, I'm going to leave a couple of um, loops so I'll have enough to tack it down. Then I'm just going to tuck it inside for later. Just so it's out of the way. But we still have it. And then let's pull that new color through to finish that last stitch. So this next row we are going to be doing like we did um, his little frill on the bottom of his jacket. Row 24, we are going to be doing one single crochet, one double crochet cluster of four, and then just repeating those two stitches all the way around. So we'll start with our single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we'll do our double crochet cluster of four. So yarn over into that next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn again, and go through those first two loops. So that's once, and we got to do that four times. That's twice. That's three times. And that's four times. And then just grab your yarn again and go through all those loops on your hook. Give it a tug and then you're ready to start again. And what I like to do is kind of push my finger up in there when I do my single crochet. So up it goes. 
single crochet and then another double crochet cluster of four and then pull through and just keep repeating single crochet cluster single crochet cluster I'm going to speed this up because it's probably going to take like seven minutes for me to get around and then I will slow it down when I get to my last couple of stitches okay we're down to our last two stitches so I'm going to do my single crochet, my cluster, and then I'm just going to slip stitch just behind that first single crochet we made. Tie that off. Leave a bit of a tail because you will have to weave this one in. Um, unless you're sewing it down and then I guess you could just hide it up inside. Let's just do that right now. I mean, I am going to be sewing mine on, but... Let's at least just bring it down and inside a bit so nobody can grab that and accidentally pull it out. And then I'm just going to bring it up a few stitches. Cut that. And I'll take the stitch marker out and let's just try it on. This will be stitched on later. I just in case we have to adjust anything, um, let me do get the rest of the parts put on so that works. Let's give them a little bit of a pom pom on top. So I just do a quick, simple little thing for a pom pom, and all I'm going to do is go around um, two or three fingers a couple of times. Let's do three just so we have lots of base to work with and just go around a few times the more you go around the fluffier it will be and now I want to tie that right there so I'm just going to leave myself a little bit of string here I'm just going to put a knot on the end. So I'm basically just tying all those loops together with the cut ends on the opposite side of where I'm tying it. And if you made it small enough, you could leave them like this, but I'm going to cut mine. So I'm cutting them about the length of my thumbnail. And you can do any size you want. I just want a teeny little puff up there. So I'm going to thread one end. I'm just going to kind of grab a little piece 
of that first loop we made and then go down. And all that's going to do is make it so when we tie it, it's not going to pop out or through if it's ever pulled on. Because it'll have a, a hold of those stitches in that first loop. So I'm doing the other side now. And then I'm just going to grab a loop on the other side and go down. And then I'm just going to fold that inside out and tie that fairly tight. And we might as well trim them off as well. Sorry about that. I just whacked my camera light right off of my camera. Now we'll just stick it on temporarily when we move on to the next part. I can't remember how we did that. I think flat and then over. I'll have to have a look at it. All right, let's make a little nose now. And we're just gonna be putting three single crochets into a loop. So however you wanna start, so you can achieve that. So I make my knot with a loop on the end, grab my yarn, pull up and chain one. Remember that does not count as a stitch. And then I'm just gonna put three single crochets into that loop. So one, two, and three. And if you want to make it bigger, just add a couple extra single crochets. I just wanted a little bump because usually I just wrap my yarn around a couple of stitches and I wanted to just to stand past the, um, whoop. I wanted to poke out past the mustache. So then you're just going to slip stitch to join and poof it out so it's poking towards you. And then tie that off, leaving some string to sew that on. And then I also cut my little tail end so it's not in my way. All right, we're gonna make the mustache now and leave yourself a bit of a tail because we're gonna weave that into the center because I'm tying mine on, not sewing it. And you're gonna make your knot with the loop on the end because we will be chaining. And we are going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And starting in the second chain from the hook, so it'll be this one right here. We're going to do a slip stitch, a slip stitch, a single crochet, and then a half double crochet increase. So that's two half double crochets in the same stitch. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, Grab your yarn, pull up, and then go through the three loops. And we need two of them. Yarn over. Three loops. And then we're going to slip stitch in this next stitch. And then we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch. We're just mirroring the other side now. One. 
two half double crochets and then we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch and then two slip stitches one two and then we're going to tie that off leaving a bit of a tail And for this one, I thought, so this is our right side where we just ended. I actually thought the wrong side looks better. So I'm going to use the wrong side as the side that's facing me. I'm going to grab my darning needle. And I want to bring both those ends to the center of the mustache. I see my camera moved at some point here. Okay, so I want to be putting my stitches on the right side. So these V's are facing me. And I'm just going to come and kind of twist around through those stitches till I get to the center where I did that slip stitch. Now when you pull this, you want to be careful not to wreck your point. So when you have all your ends through, you just want to pull that back down, making sure both your sides are even. So I'm going to slide my knee a little bit more of a pull. And then when you're happy with how you have it, you're going to wrap around one time around the front, just one string. Whoops, I just pulled that. You don't want to be pulling that. One string, and then you want to tie that in the back. So you may have to hold on to your your uh, mustache strategically so that you're not tying that too tight and wrecking your point. So I'm going to tie it loose and then I'm going to tie it tight. Just make sure you're not wrecking your point on the end there. All right. All right, we'll start the beard now and we're gonna leave a little bit of a tail. I actually haven't sewed it on yet, so I don't know if I need it, but I do remember that I'll end up with tails on both sides. So we're gonna start with a chain. So you need to make your knot with the loop on the end. Insert your hook and we are gonna chain 27. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now starting in that second chain from the hook, we are going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. 
Now we're going to do four half double crochets. So a half double crochet is basically the same as a single, only you wrap your yarn around your hook first. So yarn over, in, pull through, grab your yarn again, and pull through three loops. So that's one. Yarn over. That's two. Yarn over. That's three and one more that's four now we're going to do our clusters so we're going to do a double crochet cluster of three and then a single crochet and we're going to repeat that six times and make sure your chain is not twisting as you're going around and remember for a double crochet cluster your yarn over go in grab your yarn pull through and up grab your yarn and go through the first two loops and you'll do that three times so that's once twice, three times, and then through all the loops on your hook. Give it a bit of a tug, and then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch. So that's once, double crochet cluster of three, single crochet that's twice double crochet cluster of three single crochet that's three times Double crochet cluster of three. Single crochet. That's four. Double crochet cluster of three. Single crochet, that's five, and one more. Single crochet, that's six. Now we're going to have four half double crochets across. So one, two, three, four, and then three single crochets. One, two, three. Now you're going to turn your work so you're on the back side and this time you want to be punching your um, your little clusters out to the other side and we're going to start right in this next stitch right here three slip stitches. So one, two, three. Then we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. And then we're going to do two half double crochets. One, 
two. Now we're going to start our clusters and our single crochets and we're going to do five of them. So double or crochet cluster of three. And then a single crochet. So that's one double crochet cluster of three. See what I'm doing here, and a single crochet. <laughs> All right, you go down there then. So that's two double crochet cluster of three. Single crochet, so that's three, double crochet cluster of three, that doesn't seem right. You gotta redo this. That's four. And a double crochet cluster of three. Single crochet. And then we're gonna do two half double crochets. Um, three single crochets. And then three slip stitches. And then we're going to tie that off, leaving again some tail to sew that on. And you can just double check that all your little puff stitches are puffed the right way. All right, let's take a crack at pinning everything on now. So I'm going to start with the mustache and the nose. And I want them to kind of line up with this line. So I want the mustache just under it. And then I want the nose just above it. So just kind of where the points are. Whoops. I'm going to pin the mustache on. And then grab my nose. And I'm just looking to see what it looks like right now. I'm not going to be sewing anything on. And then we're going to take our beard. I don't know how to get this right here. And we want to go by how it naturally curves. And we want to get the bottom kind of on the chin and the tops just in front of the ears. If all our stitches are the same and our yarn weights are the same, it should basically just fall right where the hat is sitting when it's kind of just, just below that white. 
and you can move this up underneath that's why I didn't um, tack the hat on yet so you just kind of play around with it a bit see where you want you can use the bumps here to kind of keep it centered one two so this is my center one and once you're happy with the beard you're going to pin that on and I start by doing one up top on each side and then I'm going to do one in the center down here and down here even though I don't think I'm going to be sewing the bottom. I might sew the side here and around here. I haven't decided. Just kind of check that they're even between the eyes and the beginning of the beard. So you can even put a pin there. So I have about two stitches showing on each side of the beard. Or the eye in the beard. Just have a look and if you are happy with that I'm going to give mine a really good pin just so it doesn't move when we're sewing it I might even take those off now See how I move that a bit? I'm just going to make sure I move this one down too. So once you have it pinned how you want it, I'm going to take my longest string up, and we'll get that on the needle. I'm just I'm actually gonna pull it up to the white might as well here since I'm so close so I'm gonna go across the top of it just a couple of stitches I might go one more just to make sure it's nice and secure in there. And I'm just going to go up and down every stitch, catching a bit of a row on the underside. And I'm going to see if I can go like this. I think I can. Just be careful that you're not moving your beard around too much. Actually, no, I can't do that. I'm going to go the old way. So I'm going around a stitch and out, and then I'm going to come back up the next stitch and up. Make sure you're catching a stitch on the bottom. Every once in a while, I'm going to try and do it the easy way. Oh yeah, see that pulled that over a bit. It just depends how secure you want to get it. You want to make sure you're in every stitch of the chain you made. All 
right. Coming along. See how I've moved that a little bit? I want us to make sure that comes up like that. It kind of just follows a natural curve the way it's made. And then I'm back up into the white row. I'm just going to go around that a couple of times. And maybe I don't need that string, so for now I'm just going to get it out of my way. I think I am going to go back down, but I'm not going to do quite as good of a job. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth in between the two rows, just so I can have this part sewn down on both sides. So I'm not even doing every stitch. I'm going every couple of stitches. And what's happening here? Oh, shoot. There we go. Now I know. Then when I get back to this side, I want to make sure I'm back on the outside of my beard here. Then I think what I'm going to do is come, I'll give it one little tie. And then I'm going to bring it up inside. 
and tie both my ends in the back somewhere. If I can find my needle, there she is. So I'm just grabbing the string on the other side now that we kind of worked around. And bring it out that same stitch. You don't want to pull these too tight when you tie them because you don't want to have his head to have a little indent. Just enough to secure them so they're not going anywhere. And then just get them out somewhere out the back. I think we'll do the nose next just because it'll be easier to get the mustache on around the nose than it will be to get the nose on around the mouth or mustache, I think. So we just want it right about there. So it's just kind of between the eyes, just sitting on that bottom row where the eyes end. And all I'm gonna do is just go around and catch a stitch or two. Santa is not cooperating with me. So just like we did the beard, we're just going to go up and down here a couple of times around the stitches. And I have to come out and go back in. We're more or less just kind of tacking it down. With a couple of stitches. And I think that's good enough. Oh, I think I just poked myself or something. This is not the easiest thing to do. Just double check that it's got enough. I'm going to put one more up here. I didn't. I think I did miss this going around. And then I'm just going to bring it back underneath so I can tie it kind of where it's going to be hidden under the mustache. So just grab a piece of that a stitch, give it a tie. and then hide that and pull the knot down out the back somewhere. So this is where that rubber glove would have probably come in handy when you gotta go through the front to the back, especially if you're using the plush yarn. You just pull that out if you need to and let's see how the mustache works. I'm going to pin it on the sides here. Because all I want to do is go under and around and tie it. Um, tie it on. So I think I'm going to go under this way. So I'm just going around the row. Coming up. I 
and you can do that once or twice. I'm going to go one more time. I'm just going around the center of the mustache and around the row underneath. And then we have to get that tied underneath. So I'm just going to move that around. I want my tie to be as hidden as possible. So if you can get it up close to the nose, that's probably the best. Try it a couple of times and then we'll hide it out into the head. And I have not come out with a mouth yet. So, this could have been a, maybe I should have caught a bit of that mustache with the white. Um, let's um, just grab a little, or should we have red or pink? I don't know, I'm going to do black just because I know that'll show up right now. Kind of see where your mustache hangs and I'm just going to put a little line right here. So I just started one row up so I can tie that and pull it in. I just have a little line. And then we'll pull that out the back as well. Careful not to pull this one too tight if you can, or even grab, what is happening there? Why is it, there we go. I wanna just grab that so it doesn't pull all the way in. I don't know why I struggle so much with this darning part. Okay. Now, let's do the hat. So you're gonna wanna make sure the back is in the back just because there's that little bit of a, a bump step there. Oh, let's cut these. So you have your tying thread on the back. If for some reason you don't have that, and just get a chunk of white and go in here or a chunk of red and go around here. I'm again going to pin that. I do front, back, side. And then might go around a couple of times. I 
doesn't need too many pins. However you, many you need to make it feel kind of secure. Add your yarn on. And I'm just going to start by going around this row right where the red starts on my hat. Oh, these arms every time. And then you decide how many stitches you want around. Do you want to have it really tight? Or are you just tacking it on? I'm just going to tack this on. So I'm going to go around one stitch when I'm on the outside. And I'm going to go around, I don't know, about four or so stitches when I'm on the inside. So down one stitch and then out a couple of stitches. Down a stitch and then out a couple of stitches. And I'm trying to stay on the same row. Down and around. You may want to add a few extra stitches in the front. Just because if anybody is uh, handling it, that's probably where the most wear and tear will be on the hat. Shoot. Getting close to the back here where we started. I'm going to come up and down. Go back around a stitch and then out and just tie where I started on the underneath of the hat. So that's where I started, right there, that stitch. So I'm just going to tie a knot to it. Or you can do a couple of knots if you need to. And then I'm just going to put that down and in side somewhere. I'm going to just do it just like that. There we go. Thanks for watching and don't forget if you enjoyed this video or any of my others please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Also if you ever see anything in the background I have videos for every single thing there plus more. You just have to go to my page hit videos and then scroll down through all the different ones that are there. And like always, I hope you all take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.